Being a kind friend and enjoying pizza, that's going to last for way more than kindergarten. So they're already off to a good start, huh, Josh? I'd like to go back to kindergarten right now. It sounds, yeah. like, a, it sounds like a good time. <laughs> Wouldn't be too bad. <laughs> Kindergartners, if they wanted to spend some time outside today, probably not the best day to do it. This was a day of drenching downpours. Yeah. No question about it. The good news is that we're pretty much out of the wet woods, but there could still be a couple of thunderstorms in the overnight containing a downpour to check out how much rain we had in Buffalo today. More than 1.6 inches. The R is there for the word record. It was a record setting rainfall for today. The old record that was on the books had stood since the 1890s and we now have a surplus of rain for the month of June, which is going to be wrapping up. Some spots had more than two inches of rain today. Places like Mayville, Olean, we had a little bit more than an inch and three quarters. We are going to find again a couple of downpours developing in the overnight and in a few select spots that could be another third of an inch in some cases, uh, but we will start to dry out as we head into tomorrow and sunshine returns for the day on Monday. Nice way to kick off the week as we head through your Sunday. Again, we're talking about a mostly cloudy sky, maybe a passing shower early on, but nothing like what we saw here today. Best time frame to see some of these uh, developing downpours again would be after midnight and into the wee hours of Sunday morning. But any threat for most uh, thunderstorms on Sunday and they would be widely scattered, would be from the Genesee Valley east into the Finger Lakes. That's where we could still see a storm or two with gusty winds. Pretty breezy out there right now, 77 degrees. We're at 83 in Dunkirk. A couple of small showers here uh, of the garden variety over Genesee and Wyoming counties. Otherwise, just a lot of clouds here back to the west. Might even see a break or two in the overcast here as we head into this evening. And then again, later tonight, a thunderstorm could pop up and uh, pass on through with a downpour. Temperatures overnight, not much beyond 70 for an overnight low and tomorrow afternoon kind of cloudy but the wind will be coming in out of the northwest and it will start to dry out as we head into tomorrow night. Monday morning looks beautiful. Cool breezes will be blowing. Uh, some spots are starting out in the 50s here into the southern tier waking up on Monday morning. So for tonight, scattered showers, an isolated thunderstorm containing a downpour. We drop into the upper 60s and we're going to be into the upper 60s during the daytime tomorrow in most spots. 64 in Lancaster, uh, 68 in Clarence. 72 in Buffalo, and we should be into the upper 60s in the southern tier. And again, we will start to dry out. There's that super seven day forecast. Sunshine for your Monday. Back into the 80s for the middle of the week. Fourth of July looks pretty decent with highs in the mid 80s and some partial sunshine. You're watching 70s at 6. Stay with us.